some work sites are safer and better run than others. And proper ladder use is a good indicator of how well a crew is trained. Still, there are many construction sites where ladders are used improperly. In fact, hundreds of accidents occur every year as a direct result of unsafe ladder use. Even though they are probably one of the most important and commonly used tools on any job. In this video, we're going to look at some of the problems that are associated with ladder use. On construction sites, there are two types of activities that will require you to use a ladder. Performance work and access work. Performance work is where you have to reach out or move frequently from an elevated workstation. If your work is going to be lasting over a longer period of time, then using a scaffold, swing stage, or an elevated platform is needed. Access, on the other hand, means using ladders to reach upper working levels. So, choosing the correct ladder before starting any job is very important. Two of the most common types of ladders found on construction sites are straight or extension ladders used for access to jobs at higher levels and step ladders used for performance work. The CSA classification on the ladder's side rail will tell you what type of work the ladder is designed for. Grade one for construction and industrial uses Grade two, for use by non-construction trades and farm use. And grade three, light duty ladders for household use. Load ratings are also marked and should correspond with your weight plus the weight of any tools you intend to use. The tags for load ratings are often missing, so it is important that only heavy-duty grade one ladders are used on construction sites. Another ladder you will see on just about every construction site is a job constructed ladder. This ladder is built on the job usually from materials found on site. It's very important that the wood used in making this ladder is construction grade or number one structural grade and that it's free of knots, cracks, or other defects. Side rails must be made of at least a single length of 2x4 that's not tapered, notched, or spliced. The maximum height for 2x4 side rails is 16 feet. The distance between the inner faces should not be less than 15 inches and no greater than 20 inches. The rungs are one by fours, and the filler pieces one by twos. Plywood must not be used to make any part of this ladder, and that includes the side rails, rungs, and filler pieces. And of course, the rungs and filler pieces must be nailed along the edge of the side rails.
constructing a ladder with inferior materials or using smaller dimensions is just asking for an accident to happen. Once you've chosen the right ladder for the job, make sure it's safe. Look for cracks and loose or corroded rivets and defective braces. Does the ladder have slip-resistant feet? And are they in good condition? Are the ropes and pulleys in good condition? Is it free of grease, oil, and other slippery substances? Are all the rungs in place? and secure. If a ladder isn't safe, tag it and have it repaired or throw it out. Do not use an unsafe ladder. Carry a ladder safely balanced with the front end facing up so you can see where you're going. Get help if the ladder is either too heavy or too long. Ladders should not be placed on barrels or boxes or used on elevated work platforms. Set up only on a solid level base that's free from debris. Never sit a ladder on its rungs. It must sit on the side rails. If you're setting up an extension ladder, first Place it into position, then raise the extension. If the job is temporary, you might want to have a fellow worker hold the ladder. There are certain conditions that can arise that will make the ladder unstable, such as wind. In these instances, tie the top of the ladder into place to keep it secure. If the ground area is wet or the slip resistant feet won't restrain the ladder, a nailed 2x4 or brace will hold the ladder in place. Or if the floor is finished, use a sandbag. Look up and watch the placement of your ladder when working around electrical lines. Even wooden ladders have the potential for conducting current. If electricity is a danger, use a fiberglass ladder. When setting up a step ladder, fully extend the legs and lock the braces. When determining the height of the step ladder, remember that it must rise to within three to four feet of the point of work. The maximum height for a step ladder is 20 feet. Don't create scaffolding by connecting two step ladders with planks or using the ladder as a scaffolding plank. Step ladders are not to be used for access to higher levels. If you're going to be working in an area where traffic could become a hazard, put up a barricade. Straight or extension ladders must be placed at the proper angle using the four to one rule. This means that the foot of the ladder should extend one foot out from the wall for every four feet up. And that the top of the ladder must extend three feet above the structure. Your extension ladder has to have the right amount of overlap. An extension ladder up to 36 feet needs a three-foot overlap. A 36 to 48-foot extension ladder needs an overlap of four feet. An extension ladder over 48 feet needs a five-foot overlap. An extension ladder is intended primarily as a means of access, not as a work platform.
Once you understand how to handle yourself safely around ladders, there is very little that should go wrong. It's a matter of learning how to think safely and developing an eye for possible danger. Make sure your boots are free of mud and grease. A half inch heel will help keep your footing safe and stable. When climbing up or down, face the ladder and use both hands to grip the side rails or rungs. You should have three point contact with the ladder at all times. That is both feet and one hand or both hands and one foot should always be in contact with the ladder. Keep your belt buckle inside the side rails at all times. This will stop you from putting too much weight on either side of the ladder, possibly tipping it. Do not carry heavy tools and equipment up with you. Either have someone else hand the items to you or haul them up with a line. There should be only one person on the ladder at a time. Never transfer from one ladder to another. Climb down to the ground and then up the other ladder. Never stand on or above the top two rungs or steps of any ladder or stand on the cap or the paint shelf of a step ladder and never walk a step ladder or jump a straight ladder the black and white of it is you've got to use the right ladder for the right job set it up and secure it properly. Climb and work with your safety in mind, as well as the safety of your coworkers. And remember, accidents are no laughing matter. You are safe now, dears.